Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about the flexibility of using content types and building solutions on SharePoint in general. If you've gone through a specification collection from different departments within your organization or even from different people within your organization, you'll probably notice that the requirements have a tendency to grow and that makes it harder of course to build any solution so for the meetings in Contoso here we have created a system that works both for the IT department and for the sales department however now the IT department say that they always want to keep track of the most problematic system that should be a point that get mentioned in every meeting so that we can deal with that and the sales meetings they always talk about the next sales bonus quota and of course this makes it very difficult to have one system that, that handles all of it but since we build it on SharePoint now we have this item here under the list tab the create column so you can easily create columns that are shared you do that in the content type that I've showed you before but you can also have them that, that are specific so if you create a column here in the sales meeting list then it doesn't show up in the content type however to do that you need to go into list settings and find the content type Contoso meeting and by default when it's been created from a content type hub it's always read only by default so you need to change that to no so it's not not read only then once you've done that you can create a new column so if I here create column and we put that to currency and uh, that shouldn't have any decimal places right so now when they create a new meeting you see the next sales bonus level new item here it shows up there at the bottom so they can start filling that out and have that as a point and same thing with IT meetings go into the list settings and find the content type change it so that it's uh, not read only and then they can add a new column in the settings there's the columns and there create the column can be done there and that's can be single line of text that's fine okay and when they create a new meeting new item there's the most problematic system all right, that concludes my demonstration on the flexibility of using SharePoint solutions. Thank you for watching.